pop a 40 and check your rollies. It's Peppo, the dude. And may the fourth be with you. 47 years of celebrating Star Wars. 1977, Star Wars A New Hope, which would be known as Episode 4 in just a few years when we got the prequels. And then we got so many great shows, The Clone Wars, so much things that just kept building this galaxy so, so far away. And now here we are, May the 4th, and we're getting another trailer for the Acolyte. Last night, a Jedi was murdered. All right, Mando, Soka, and the Jedi. Just samurai vibes. I like it. In the name of peace, but that peace is a lie. Jedi are being hunted. She was my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her in. I sense this is only a small part of a larger plan. Some sort of shift to tip the scales. Ooh, okay. June 4th! Let's it's go! Yes! No one is safe. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. Ooh, that looks really want cool. The thread. Like it change everything. Are they gonna Got show it. us? Not gonna lie, that kind of looks like Kylo Ren. Ooh, that's not oh, Kylo. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want it to be Kylo. <laughs> Two episode premiere, June 4th, next month. Oh, we have a lot to unpack. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want it to be Kylo, you guys, because I am not a fan of the sequels. I don't consider them canon. If you like them, more power to you. But I just think it was poor writing. And the, he looked like Kylo a little bit at first, the shadow. But then they showed him. So now I'm thinking maybe he's more like... Uh, maybe they're going to bring him in as Revan, Ravon. I always say it wrong, so crucify me in the comments about that. Because I deserve it. I can't say anything right. But let's go ahead and look back at some of this. Right here we have kind of like samurai training vibes. They're using a stick. Not even a practice lightsaber it looks like. So that's cool. And, and, and I'm definitely getting the High Republic vibes. The stuff you get from the books. Even Old Republic in, in a sense from all this. We're getting a lot more hand-to-hand -hand combat which I really appreciate. A lot of people, if I remember correctly from the first trailer said that this looked like Op 2 from the sequels. I'm gonna tell you what I told my buddy, the Mysterious Twist. I don't want it to be like, it's like the Bad Batch, it ended and I asked him before I watched it because I knew they were starting to push some stuff in for the sequels. I was like, if I watch this as if I was watching for the first time, would I have to watch the sequels later? He said no. So, them just showing the planet doesn't really seem like a way for it just feels like more of a connection to the sequels than anything so if this is octu which i think that's how you pronounce it i'm fine with it especially since i do believe that octu was filmed in ireland and uh i'm irish so you know i want to slow this down real quick you guys and see what uh see what we can see here with this all right I want to slow this down and get a look at this guy. So see right there, because of the way that is, it does look like, it, it looked like Kylo. Obviously it's not. If somehow this did end up being Kylo, like brought back from the dead, time travel bullshit, which it's not, I would be pissed. I'd be like, okay, Disney, really? But it's not. It looks like it's probably, at first, when I first saw this shit, because of the power this guy had, you know, he pushes everyone back. I thought this was either Palpatine, Plagueis, or even Plagueis' master. Because this does take place, I believe, a hundred years before the Phantom Menace. Look at that, though. That looks kind of cool. Well, if he is a Sith, because not everyone that has a lightsaber is a Sith, 
these people are dead. They have to die. So we already know who's going to die. And, you know, I, I have a feeling, and y'all can uh, quote me on this whenever the show actually comes out. I think since this guy's just going after the one guy, I think this is after those other people, those people we just saw, them, I think they're dead. Because they don't seem like they're exhausted at all. So I think right here, this guy's turning. He's already killed them all. That's just my guess, my, my little prediction. And, you know, he's exhausted because it's after the fight. And this is him about to die, basically. My thoughts going forward. I'm very disappointed. You know, originally I was going to release a video today that really talked about how there's a lot of people that today are going to celebrate Star Wars and talk about how good it is. But then tomorrow they're going to turn around and be hateful and call people Disney shills and tell people to go hurt themselves and say, you know, oh, you're not a real fan because you like this or that. You know, it's like we really should be better as a fandom because we are considered the most toxic fandom, probably. To my knowledge, I think Star Wars and wrestling are considered the top toxic fandoms. and That's not an achievement that I like. So I, I hope that moving forward, we move away from the, the stigma of just being like, well, I don't like this, and you shouldn't either. Like, it's fine to dislike something, but do it in a respectful manner. A lot of people say, oh, nobody asked for this. You know, people that like this are just Disney shills, you know, this and that. Like, just, just sit down. You don't want to watch it? I mean, you haven't even seen the first episode, but obviously you just want to hate. It's it's. Just, just go away. As far as how I feel about this, I'm excited because I've wanted something for the Old Republic for a while. And I know this isn't the Old Republic. This is, you know, the High Republic and the Old Republic isn't canon. To me it is. But, I don't know. I, I liked this ever since I heard about it. And I think the first time we heard about this, this was supposed to be from the Sith perspective. I don't know if we're still going to get that. All in all, it does give me the High Republic vibes that you get from the books and such. And I think it has a really good opportunity to set up for stuff, not only just in the prequels, but more so the Phantom Menace. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Yoda and this and that. Although, I know how people are going to act. They're going to be like, oh, they're pandering, you know, they're doing fan service. Really? hundred years I believe Yoda's 600 years at the time and they're pandering if they show us Yoda who is a big part of Star Wars yeah. yeah either they pander or they don't do enough for us wow I'm actually not seeing any bad comments so maybe the majority of the negative things I'm seeing are just on Facebook I hope it's at least eight episodes but I could go for 12 and We'll just see what this has to offer. Let me know how y'all feel about this trailer and the first one down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed my reaction. Leave a dislike if you didn't and maybe comment what I could have done better to improve. Subscribe if you haven't already because we are on the road to 1K at the moment. We have over 900 in the less than a week. We've gained over 500 subscribers. Help us reach 1K before the end of May. And until next time, keep the attitude.